for the top of the hour. Give you guys enough time to get those bets in. For the primetime games, that's what we do here on the drive through Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. This is our live free sports fix for the games beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern Time and later. To deliver those winners, our professional handicappers over at Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Play. So let's take a peek at who's on the show with us here for today. All right, with us with Javon and James. Expected to sign in momentarily. Kevin Thomas with us. Jay Briggs and Chris Ruffalo with the fill-in for today. Here's how they'll line up for this evening. Ruffalo, Briggs, Burtz, Biller on vacation. We'll get him back next week. Thomas, Clark, we hope to find Clark, and then I'll, we'll close this one out. All right. Every team on the board from the NBA tonight, 15-game card. We have a, a rain out with the uh, Guardians and Yankees, so that gives us a 14-game card for Major League Baseball. Got about five games on the ice, so let's get the show underway. Let's go ahead and welcome in Chris Ruffalo. You'll catch him over at Pick Dogs. We'll go to the Skype world for Chris. Of course, catch him on that with this video series. We'll find out more about NHL around the league because we're getting closer and closer to the NHL playoffs. So I know you guys will be all tuned in for that. So let's bring in Chris here, ready to roll here to start the Friday here on the drive through Oop, I went, went too far here. Let me go back here a little bit. Do, do, do. Chris, ready to go here on the Skype world. Chris, Chris, what's happening? No, Tony, not much. Just, uh, yeah, just enjoying the card today. We're getting ready for tonight's action. Tuned into a little bit of the Masters today and, uh, yeah, we were talking about it in the morning. It's a little bit crazy when, you know, you don't even realize that the Masters is on until somebody points out and people are starting to post their bet slips. So, yeah, I think we're starting to all just focus in on NBA and NHL playoffs and MLB as well. So, yeah, there's a so lot going on. A lot going on. A lot of drama in the NBA. Usually, this is the time of the year when we kind of tune out the NBA a little bit, right? But I will, you know, I will say that the 9-10 does add a little intrigue. The playing round does add a little intrigue to the league because... That jockey positions when you go between four, six, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and nine and ten. I mean, there's a lot of drama in, involved in, in, in these in these positions. Yeah, it adds. You're right, Tony. It adds that level of intrigue. And I mean, if you, if we just went with the old format, I mean, one through eight in the Western Conference would have been solid, and it would have been chaos to see how those last two games would have shaken out. Or the last two, uh, oh, sorry, the three teams fighting for the last playoff spot would have uh, would have unfolded. But now we get ten teams in the playoffs. We get to make sure that. You know, teams have earned it, and the Eastern Conference still has a little bit of catching up to do there. But, uh, but still, yeah, lots, lots of uh, playoff basketball. I'm always excited for playoff basketball, so bring it on. Bring on playoff basketball. We're all excited about it. Of course, uh, we're getting it. it. Looks great, near, near, and close here to the playoff. But we just got another week to go here in the uh, in, in NHL. But we're going to talk NBA tonight here as we see the Lakers and Grizzlies going head to head here. Uh, Lakers going to be laying a bundle here, 15. We see the total 225 and a half. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I can understand why the line is where it is. I mean, you look at Memphis. This is a Memphis team that has 13 names on the injury report. It's it's getting out of hand. This is why we joke on the morning show, we call them the Memphis Hustle, but that is, you know, just what this team has become. It's been it's become a G League team that's had a lot of guys come up and, and try to fill the void. Um, but the thing for me here is I'm, I'm actually going to look at the over in this matchup. You know, the Lakers, there's obviously the, the level of motivation to play for the Lakers here. You know, we were talking about before we came on the air. Do the Lakers want to even, you know, chance it by, by you know, playing guys like Anthony Davis and LeBron James, who are, you know, an injury risk anytime they take the floor. And if, if, I mean, realistically, if one of these guys goes down, well, everybody's going to, you know, call into question. Should they have been playing? And if they don't play, it's, well... They should be playing, so you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. But the thing for me in this game, though, is I do think we see a, motiv a motivated effort from the Lakers to try to at least, you know, get home court back for that 9-10 play-in match if that's where they end up landing. But I also think this is a spot where the Memphis Grizzlies, even with a bunch of G-Leaguers, is are going to show up to battle here. I mean, I've talked before about how the Memphis Grizzlies, um, you know, have these G-Leaguers come up and are battling for playing time for next year, potentially playing for contracts. And I think that with, with the Lakers being such a public team, there's going to be even more eyes on these guys to show up and, and put to put forth a solid effort. So I think Memphis puts forth a good effort. I think the Lakers, you know, can easily put up 125, 130 points in this game. And you look head-to-head -head between these two teams, sure, there were better, you know, names in the in the lineups than there are probably for tonight's action. But the overs 3-0 and between these two teams this season, all of, out of a similar line of 225 and a half. We've seen 240, 241, and 260 in those totals. So I'm going to go with the over here and, and expect some offensive fireworks in this one. 
All right, Chris says over the total here, 225 and a half. You know, when the Lakers don't find much resistance around the basket, they seem to shine offensively. Anthony Davis, LeBron going to the hole. There's not going to be a whole lot of resistance. You know the G-Leaguers aren't going to get any respect from the refs. You know that for sure. <laughs> you know, there'll be a lot of free throw shooting in this game. And, of course, what happens here is when you face the Lakers and you know they're so strong down low, then the guards start to sag and you get, you get those open looks from three. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, when you have guys like, you know, Gigi Jackson, who's been sort of the, the the big name that's kind of come out of all this injury, you know, happenstance for the for the Grizzlies. And he's, you know, emerged and he's developed a three point game that I didn't really see that he had when he was at South Carolina. You know, Scotty Pippen Jr. has been taking advantage. Uh, you know, we saw Jake LaRavia have, have 32 points in that last game. He's, you know, stepped up in the absences as well. So, like you said, Tony, it, got, it leaves it leaves guys open out on the perimeter when when the uh, the guards start start to drop into into uh, into the defense down low and yeah it leaves open looks so I, I'm banking on Memphis being able to hit some of those open looks and for the Lakers to take advantage in the response. Stats are so important to these guys now. I mean this is a situation the stat pad and I can see the over because again the Lakers guards are shooters you know they sell you know they salivate when they find out there's no resistance defensively. Yeah and, and like it's like I said not only that I mean it's it's just. Guys that are playing for contracts that may not have had the exposure had Memphis stayed healthy this year. So, I mean, you've got guys like Gigi Jackson, who's probably going to be a mainstay in the Grizzlies rotation next year. You have all these other guys like Trey Jamison, um, you know, Scottie Pippen Jr. that are battling for playing time, even when guys like John Morant and, and Desmond Bain come back healthy next year. Same thing with, with Jaron Jackson Jr. So there's still a lot to play for, you know, despite this Memphis team being 27 and 53. There's still a lot of sort of internal motivation, I think, for the Grizzlies. I think that's going to show through tonight. Yeah, be careful hyping GG Jack. We hyped him right when he started, right when he started getting playing time, and uh, he turned into G League Jackson. So you got to be careful. Jay will cool. tell you, you got to be careful hyping this guy because we hype yeah, him too yeah. much. He turns into G League Jackson. Well, I got a GG Jackson jersey in the mail. <laughs> I just mine stretched out a little bit already, so it's <laughs> so we're gonna have to. Uh, yeah, I might have to temper my expectations a little, but. Uh, I, uh, I like what I've seen from him so far, so we'll have to see if that uh, if that ends up carrying. He's got he's got a good looking. I will say he has a really good looking jump shot. That's yeah. something that caught my attention, man. He's yeah. really good form wise. I, I I will say I've been impressed with his ability to hit contested shots. Like there was, I, I think it was, I think it was a game in the, they were playing Sacramento because I was watching at the sports book at the wind, and he was just getting bodies thrown at him left and right, and he just kept hitting three after three. So I like what I've seen from his jump shots. Now it's just about him taking his game to the next level. Yeah, it should be interesting there. I think out of all this mess with the Grizzlies, they did find a contributor here with Gigi Jackson next year when they get all their guys back. Lakers, Grizzlies here. Grizzliers over 220. That's probably who they are today, the Grizzliers. Over 225 and a half tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern time. All right, Chris, let's take a look over at Pink Dog Cream for tonight's action. Uh, nope, we got to go to the Skype, Chris. That's not the, that's, there we go. We always go to the Skype, Chris, there. All right, good results in baseball. Big baseball card heading to a big weekend as well. Of course, uh, uh, 600 units of profit. We have going over a pick dogs premium. Well, uh, tonight got a lot of stuff going on. Got uh, my MLB pickoff play for 19 bucks. Also got uh, an NBA three point play, my three best NBA plays on the board, or my free for all Friday five pack where you get that MLB play, those three NBA plays, and a bonus Major League Baseball play. Um, also have a fourth NBA play if you're on a long term pass. So that's the best value. You, know, you can hop on a daily pass day, we can make you some money, or jump on a long term pass. It makes the plays a lot cheaper rather than buying every single day. And uh, remember, whatever you choose to do, use that promo code PICK at checkout for 15% off and pair me up with any of the great handicappers on the drive thru. We'll, uh, we'll make you some money. I can promise you that. That's right, guys. Get on board here with Chris Willow we'll over at Pick Dogs. Premium. Use the promo code PICK at checkout. Save that 15% off. Uh, Chris's long-term pass. You guys like that three-day pass here on the weekend? Go for it. All right, Chris, as always, a great having your show. Thanks for the fill-in tonight, and we'll catch up with you again next week. Sounds good, Tony. Take care. Got it. Chris Rubolo here on The Drive. Dude, let's continue here on the show, guys. We're going to go ahead and set the chat pick of the day here on the fly here as uh, we, as we before we get to this next uh, capper here. And uh, we're going we're gonna to get you – we'll put a game up here that's not being covered here on the show, so just hang on momentarily as I get my graphics together here. And we're going to ask the chat for their pick of the day today. And we have a lot to choose from today. Hopefully we got one here for you now. We're going to get coverage here on the Pelicans game, the Suns Sacramento. Let's make the Suns Sacramento game that one. All right, we're going to make it Suns and Kings here. Uh, well, can, can the Suns uh, – you guys have been hot here. I know our man J-Man. J-Man was giving some – you know, was calling out the chat here to get it together. And you guys have come through in fine colors. You guys have hit the chat pick of the day all four days this week. You were on the Pelicans. So uh, we're going to come back here with the Pelicans and the Suns. 
tonight. I'm, I'm sorry, we're going to come back with the sons and sons and the kings tonight, not the pelican, the sons and the kings. And if you like the sons, uh, let's see, minus four and a half, it's letter A. And if you like the kings, plus four and a half, it's letter B. Uh, get those picks coming in. We're going to get, we'll give you the over-unders here in just a second as I go in here and I, I start to start to put in the numbers here. So we've got here the total in this game. We're going to make it 224 tonight. So 224 on the total. As usual, over is C, under is D. That's going to be our chat pick of the day. I got it completed here on the fly so you guys can see it. Chat pick of the day. Suns at Kings. Suns laying the 4.5 A. Kings plus 4.5 B. Over 224 C. Under 224 is D. The chat pick of the day is hot. Four straight winners this week. Let's keep it going here, guys. Uh, first one coming is letter B. So we got a Kings for the first one coming in. Now, guys, don't be throwing me mixers with money lines. Give me the, these are spreads, spreads or totals. I don't, I don't want to make this pull, pull too much here. We got four choices here. Side and total here. We're going to count the Kings money line as a spread, right? So we might have do that. All right. So we got one and one. We got two Kings already on the board, uh, and we find we got our first sons in there another son so our mr j is in there with the sons all right so we're tied up in this one so let's continue here on the drive through let's bring in jay briggs you'll catch him over at pick dogs premium let's get him in right now nba coverage on this 15 game card i don't know what jay's going to do with himself tomorrow there's no nba again so i'm ready to roll here with jay jay what's happening i know tony no nba tomorrow only two days left in the regular season kind of sad man kind of sad. sad playoffs coming up but, yep. Man. <laughs> yep, that is right. Playoffs come out. Of course, the the this one here, the Warriors are trying to look to you know to move the needle up, maybe get to that eight seed. So you have to win one game instead of two. That's a big deal when you get to the eight seed instead of the nine ten. That means you just got to win one out of two. If you're the nine or ten seed, it's sudden death for the every two games. So uh, there you go. Uh, so you got the Pelicans and Warriors tonight. We've got the Warriors favored four. We see the total two twenty two and a half. I think what's most important about that about that uh, 9-10 matchup is you're basically kind of avoiding playing the Nuggets first round. I think that's really <laughs> the key thing um, in all of this playing madness. Of course, the Nuggets, I don't think they have it locked up yet. Um, they need a win tonight with T-Wolves and them still kind of battling for seeding. But, hey, Tony T hit the nail on the head earlier in the show. I've never seen the NBA have this much drama coming down to the last two days of the NBA season. It's kind of crazy. Um, there's some drama running through this game tonight with the Warriors and the Pelicans. Pelicans, these boys need a win, man. Um, you know, they're still not out of the clear of, of things in the Western Conference. They're currently the uh, – Six seed, but a loss here could low key make Phoenix jump them. Look, I'm on Golden State. When it matters most, when 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 these games are meaningful, fading Golden State is just something I cannot do with a clear conscience. Um, the Warriors, they've been the dynasty in the NBA. You know, the basketball has run through Golden State. Now I know. Their home numbers this year aren't what they were last year. The road has been much better for Golden State thus far this season. But all the chips on the table, we saw how Golden State played Sacramento last year at home when it mattered most. In a game like this, I have to roll with Golden State at home, at the crib. I'm well aware the Pelicans may be getting Brandon Ingram back tonight. But I still don't think it would be enough. Give me the Warriors at home. At all right. Jay says take the Warriors here at home in this spot here. Um uh, Laying the four here against the uh, Pelicans. The Pelicans team has had some struggles down the stretch. And I'm showing Ingram out tonight. Out. Marshall and Nance oh, out. 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 Yep, he's out. he's out. That's a big one. Yeah, he's out. And I'm looking at Green, Sarge, Thompson expected to play here. Kaminga is still questionable. So, Ingram, let's take a look here at Ingram because he's important down the stretch here. And they're going to – obviously, we know when they have their big three in there, they've been a pretty solid team. But, again, another absence is coming. Ingram will not play in Friday's game against the Warriors. Uh, that left knee contusion. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna sit up, suit him out. The last game is at the Lakers, so uh, he needs gonna, he's gonna need another day off here, which is critical here. But again, uh, no Ingram here. Pelicans are huge Suns. I mean Kings fans tonight, man. They're huge <laughs> Kings fans tonight. They need the Kings to go ahead and take care of the Suns so the Pelicans can lock up that sixth seed. 
I just, I don't know, man. I don't know, Tony, man. This is going to be a really interesting photo finish in the West. I believe there's only one playoff series in the entirety of the NBA playoffs that's set in stone, and that's Mavs Clippers. Other than that, everything else is still up in the air. It's crazy. Yeah, everything's up in the air. And, of course, in the play-in, in, in, we said playoffs, but in the play-in, we do know that it, the Bulls will be the home team against the Hawks, but we didn't, call, we didn't right. talk about the play-in. The playoffs, but just so you know, there the play in game has already been decided. So, if you're looking to handicap in Chicago or Atlanta, uh, those teams are just going to rest until they do their play in round. And of course, uh, next week, sometime I forgot when it was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday I think are the days we're going to see those, right? Yes, I believe that's right. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday sounds right, and then I Saturday think. starts uh, playoff action. Yeah, the, yeah, the plot, it's not Saturday and the Sunday, well, four and four, usually what they do there. So uh, I know you did your NBA rundown, a big game, a big card here. Anything that you're a little foggy about doing the rundown that look a little clearer now that, that we're getting closer to game time? You know, really good question, Tony, because this morning and right now in the NBA, as we've talked about, is roster manipulation season. Um, so this morning was a lot of dancing around. That Celtics game has kind of cleared up a bit. Um, we know who's in, who's out. Everybody's pretty much out. Uh, no Porzingis, no Bill Horford, no White. Look like JT will be a go, though. That's really all I need for the Celtics in a bounce-back spot to kick the crap out of the Charlotte Hornets in a bounce-back spot after losing at home yesterday to the Knicks. So I lean towards the Celtics in that one. Um, see another game that had some injury news come down. That Thunder game kind of had some injury news come down. Um, a lot of the guys for Milwaukee are out. Milwaukee, we saw Giannis go down, get injured. I think that really scared that franchise. They're going to prioritize health now heading into the postseason. Oklahoma City, a team that's been banged up the last two to three weeks, I believe they're going to prioritize momentum heading into the postseason. Um, I could see Oklahoma City taking Milwaukee behind the woodshed. Um... I know Jay's Other a big jazz those, fan. I know you're a big jazz fan tonight. I am a big jazz fan tonight. I would love play some to see jazz. The jazz. <laughs> Beat the Clippers outright. I would love to see that, Tony, but I don't know, man. That's not going to happen. The Jazz, of 30 road games, 24 of them, they've lost by double. Hey, if there's any team that can really choke this home court down the stretch, it's the Clippers, man. It's the Clippers. They, they were made for choking. They were built for choking. They're built for choking. Tony, you know, you know I will play so Utah Jazz bet. Don't take much. Bet. Money line. I got a money line jazz bet going in tonight. <laughs> and then here's one more game. I honestly believe believe Luka Doncic is not playing tonight. Um, reading the tea leaves going on, I just don't think he plays tonight. He is battling for that MVP positioning. They're cheating my man. He's not going to get it, even though I believe he deserves it wholeheartedly. Um, but – there's really no motivation for us tonight. Reading the tea leaves going on, he's still listed as game time decision. I'm I'm about 80% sure he doesn't play tonight, though. So that Mavs line, if you like value there on Detroit, you you could get in early right now and probably catch some value when the Luka news drops. But I'm about I'm about 80% sure he's not playing, and it hasn't broken yet. So there's that. All right, uh, one game with meaning here is Magic and Sixers here. Magic is just tanked. Uh, I don't know what's up with them. And they have two starting lines. They shouldn't be fatiguing. Uh, been, and uh, we're seeing now this one uh, uh, coming down, right? It was seven. We're seeing it down to six. Five and a half is now popping up. Yeah. Um, Wagner is back for the Magic, which is huge. Um, I think that's huge for Orlando. When I seen and just came across my phone right now, Joel Embiid listed available to play. So that line might do a little creeping up here in a second um, in these next 30 minutes. You know, the Sixers always have roster manipulation always right up until game time. So watch this Sixers magic line over the next couple minutes because uh, everybody's getting listed in for the Sixers currently. I like the magic, though, here. I think this line is disrespectful. The magic are still the number one ATS team in basketball. A lot of things running through this game. The Magic were playing for the two seed the other day yeah. against the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, a loss here sends the Magic to the seventh seed and into mm. the playing tournament. That is wow. So, what a major fall the Magic can that that can happen for them. But when I look at this game, I still believe the Magic have a legitimate shot to win this game outright. 
Um, so I'm going to attack that plus money and sprinkle some there, but I really like the points in my back pocket. Philly, they have been a different team since Joel Embiid has been back, but the Magic, they've been a different team all season, and I kind of got to roll with that here in this one. Atlanta, as we know, are going to be on the road against Chicago. They're resting players, but we're seeing a player return, and that's uh, Trey Young. Yeah, you know, you hit it. You, you talked about it a second ago. The Bulls and the Hawks, they're locked into where they're going to be. They're going to face each other in that win or go home game. So, is getting Trey Young back here a chance to get get him some more minutes under his belt to get ready to play that Bulls game? Good, yes. Does that do I really see any value in that Atlanta Hawks Minnesota Timberwolves game? No, not really. So, I kind of feel about that. It, will the Heat even show up tonight? I know Toronto's been a bad cover team. They did get off the cover here not too long ago. Was again they beat the Bucks outright? Do they have it in them again? The Heat seems to me that they're just they're just content to just to finish the season healthy. And if they gotta get in that plan round, so be it. And that's exactly the same feeling I have on Miami, Tony. For me, I have a system play. When I see Miami as a double-digit home favorite, I just fade them. <laughs> it's, it's just that simple. When they're double-digit home favorites, I just automatically take the other side. The last two seasons have been really profitable. They have been better recently as sizable home favorites, but I think it's exactly what you said. They're comfortable where they're at. Um, they know that they can make the Eastern Conference Finals, whether they're in the play-in, the eighth seed, the sixth seed, the fifth seed, or the one seed. Um, they could go to the Eastern Conference Finals just based on how they play and how they attack matchups in the postseason. Today, would I trust them to lay double digits? No. Do I think they win the game? Probably, yeah. But I would definitely take Toronto plus the 14 and a half. An intriguing game here is Pacers and Cavs. We've seen the Cavs around three. I'm seeing two and a half. So a little bit of money coming on the Pacers. Hey, the Cavs, they haven't looked good in the entire month of April. Um, really March as well, they were struggling. This was a team that, you know, had the two seed for a while. And since then, they've been free falling. I think um, Indiana has a legitimate shot to win this game outright. Indiana been kind of playing well at the right time of the season. They had that one blunder of a loss to Brooklyn. But outside of that, recently, Indiana has really impressed me. I think they're playing some of their best basketball heading into the right time of season. I would attack the plus money there with the Indiana Pacers. Yeah, and also to note, Mitchell is back, and he just got – he. if you go back and look at his at his timeline, man, he's missed a lot of games, a lot of home games. Uh, just to, to see how he, he blends into, this, into the team now that uh, he's got some games under him and they're back home. Yeah, you know, the playoffs were not kind to the Cleveland Cavs last year. Um, rolling into the playoffs, everybody was high on that Cleveland team. And then the Knicks just bullied them. Um, so – We'll see, man. I'm starting to get those same vibes, same tendencies from the Cavs, man. I, I don't know. I don't really like this Cavs team. We'll see how it rolls uh, come postseason time. For these they, look like the Eastern they look like the Eastern Conference version of the House of Disappointment. <laughs> low key. Low key. Maybe even worse. Maybe <laughs> even worse. That's what's crazy. <laughs> there you go. That might be the Eastern Conference uh, Minnesota T-Wolves there. Uh, there. Uh, all right. We got Jay here on the Warriors here. Laying the four here against the Pelicans tonight. 10 Eastern time. All right, Jay, let's take a look over at Pick Dodgeman for nice action. Of course, we know we got a 15 game card from the NBA, a lot of volume from baseball. We got a 14 game card from baseball. Yankees Guardians is your rain out game of the day. Nope, that one was delayed. We thought it might have been delayed yesterday, actually. I had seen someone broke postponement on one of my line services. But again, lots of action tonight, Jay. Uh, what do you have going over at Pick Dodge Premium? I, it's a money making Friday. A lot of roster manipulation going on in the NBA. There's 15 games on the card. All 15 games are not bettable, though. I bet the games that I personally like the most, and I came up with three tonight in the NBA. You can scoop them up in a money-making three-pack. You can scoop up my NBA play of the day, or you can hop on something long-term and get everything that I'm offering uh, these next over the weekend for the NBA as we close out the NBA regular season and roll into the postseason. And, of course, I have some baseball in there for you as well. I have three baseball plays as well. So there, that's in a three pack and you can scoop up my MLB play of the day so six plays total for me on a Friday but rolling into a weekend like this and a week and a month like we're gonna roll into long term is the best way to go pair me up with your other favorite handicapper let's continue to kick the crap out of the booth Absolutely, guys. Got to vote with Jay Briggs over at Pick Doc. Maybe you see the great results in the NBA. No better time to get involved with the long-term passes. Man, that one-month pass will cover you to May 11th. That's a lot of NBA playoff action there. 
as well as baseball there. Pick as a promo code, save that 15% off. Also, for those big players out there, Jay, you got that all access. Yes, I do have the all access club, man. Now, playoffs are on the horizon, man, and we're going to hit it hard. So if you're looking to bet the NBA postseason fairly hard and make a good amount of money, like we're going to we're going to attack it, man. So you can join the All Access Club 775-636-7674. Running a special over the weekend, man, that you can get in right before the postseason. Text my guy Costi, figure out a time to talk and figure out if the package is for you. Uh, it's a pretty big ticket to get in, but it's because we're just trying to make sure you can handle the volume of betting the NBA fairly big every day. Yep, no doubt about that. All right, Jay, uh, looking at some of the injuries for Dallas here. Brown, Irving, Lively out now, and we're seeing the report here saying that Luke downgraded here. Luke downgraded, so you might have been onto something there. Live movement in that game. Sorry. So keep an eye on it. All right, 11. All right, Jay, have a great night, and we'll catch up with you again on the drop. I'll be in the um, weekend show Sunday, but I know you got a lot going on over at uh, with, with the weekend show and, of course, your NBA Jam session. Yes, sir. You guys can catch my NBA Jam session every single day. Well, there won't be one tomorrow. There's no games. But uh, <laughs> you can catch it on Sunday as I'll be back for that. But I will be hosting the Pig Dogs Morning Show tomorrow. Ruffalo may be hosting for me on Sunday. So um, I might be in Houston. See those Rangers ass. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'm trying to – I'm trying to – uh See some road ballparks this year, so I'm probably going to start off in Minute Maid on Sunday. Not official yet, but probably. So I might miss Sunday's um, show. Or I might pop in, just may not host because I may be on the road. So that's probably going to happen. We'll get get you in the parking lot. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, so I just probably won't host, but I should probably be on the show. But I'll for sure be here tomorrow morning as we got a lot of baseball. Um, yeah, on the card, so, well, so you guys tune in as we uh, try to make some money. You, know, you go to Rogue, you're going to be in Rangers gear? Of course. Of course, of course. <laughs> no worries. That's right. All right. It's all right, Jay. Have a great night. We'll enjoy the trip. We'll catch up with you uh, next week on the drive through Thank you, Tony T. See you later, my man. See you later. Jay Briggs here on the drive through Let's continue on here. Before we get to the next capitalist update here on the chat pick of the day, we got a good one here tonight. And so far, it's uh, close calls here from you guys. It is the Suns at Kings. If you like the Suns, lay the 4.5. It's A. Kings plus 4.5 is B. Over 224C, under 224D. Get those chat pick of the day in right now. And it's a close one here. Uh, We got so far four on the uh, Kings, three on the Suns. So keep those... A bet, keep those picks coming in. A, Suns, B, Kings, C, over, D, under. We do have one in for over the total. <clears throat> All right, let's continue here on the drive through. We've got some baseball coming up here with Javon Birch. You'll catch him over at Pick Dodge Premium. Let's bring Javon in right now. Ready to roll here on this baseball card that will start here momentarily. Let's see. we got him in here. Just one second. Javon, Javon. Always get too far on this one. Let me look for the code here. Just give me one second. Javon Burtz, here we go, Javon. Javon, what's happening? Hey, what's going Tony? How are you? I'm doing great. All right, here we go. Major League Baseball tonight features Braves at Marlins. You see the Braves favorite here about $1.98, total late and a half. Yeah, and um, I'm going with the try and true. I'm going um, with the over in this one. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know the Braves, they ain't two to the over in their games. And, you know, they're hitting the cover off the ball. Uh, posting a 302 batting average, you know, 6.9 runs per nine innings. You know, they just, in their games, it just keeps on, you know, the, the, the score just keeps on, you know, going going, going crazy. You know, it's just, just basically the ball line until, you know, they cool off. The overs are playing their games. They're facing the Marlins team who, you know, they're, they're on a, a downturn to, to put it on, you know, Mali. You know, their bullpen is trash, the whether they post in a six plus ERA. And you know, the, you know, the, um, the Braves bullpen isn't isn't um doing so hard neither. And the, the two starters that's going tonight, Max Max Reed and and um uh, um Trevor Rogers. Trevor Trevor Rogers. Yeah, I was about to say Kenny Rogers. But, um, <laughs> Trevor Rogers. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, Kenny Rogers with the slot. But anyway, Trevor Rogers, they haven't they haven't um, been in peak form, at least. You know, so Max Freed, he'll get it together at some point. It might be 
Hey, maybe not. On the other hand, Trevor Rogers, I have no faith in him to get it done and get some, get some Braves. So, you know, it's all seasons go for this one to uh, get over this total. Yeah, the pitching, the pitchers here have really struggled. Freed, Rogers as well. There's issues there with the bullpen as well with Miami at home in ERA over six. Uh, overall, Braves four and a half. <clears throat> giving up a lot of hits. A lot of home runs are given up. Yeah, so it's a... It's not a high total here uh, there for this Braves team. Although I will say this, for me, the Braves are a play on team against right-handers, but against left-handers, they're just one and three straight up. I remember them losing to the, um, uh, they lost to the White Sox. Uh, they struggled against, I can't remember, was it Colorado? It was a game where they were dead to rights and they had this big comeback against the bullpen. Say that one more time, Tony. Yeah, the Braves are one and three against left-handed starters, but this left-handed starter, uh, really bad form with Rodgers. Yeah, I mean, you know, the way I see it, not, not a lot of exposure so far against lefties. Usually they're, they're good against lefties, you know, in past years. I, I will say that. So I'm not really worried about them, um, you know, not hitting on this, this particular lefty and Rodgers. You know, Rodgers, he has, you know, had a had a had a pass of um you know pitching pitching well, but this year's not so much. And as long as he gets his you know as long as he's pitching this way, I think the Braves could get to him or any other you know um uh, pitcher that um that the that's on the hill for for the Marlins. So he said he's fallen to the uh, Freeland, the Weathers, Corbin. He's fallen into that level. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's the bottom of the barrel there. <laughs> right there. <laughs> hey. Freeland, and, you can throw Freeland I'll, in there, I'll too. I'll also say this. i also say this. I think, I think both of these um, pitches could um, hit early. So I think first five over might be also in play. Okay, keep an eye on that first five uh, there from uh, Javon. All right, we heard Braves, Marlins over a total of eight and a half. This one tonight here, top of the hour. All right, Javon, let's take a look over at Pick Dodge for tonight's action. Of course, we have NBA on the board tonight, 15-game card. Baseball with the big card tonight, 14 games. The Yankees, Guardians, rained out. Javon has been on a tear here over the last 30 days. You see it. 1,668 units of profit. All documented over at Pick Dodge Premium. You can verify that simply going to Javon's handicapper page. What do you have going on over at the site? Yeah, I got a three-pack going at NBA. Well, actually, I got five-pack in the A. And a three pack in the NBA. Also have a major league baseball play, a standalone play. Baseball's been red hot. My NBA has been red hot. Last 14 days, 11 of those have winning days. I'm on a 16 and 4 three day run. You know, came off for seven days, uh, seven days straight um, winning winning streak. Last week had a couple um, Losing, losing days, and then right back to the winning. So I'm currently on a four-day winning streak. You know, just looking to um, you know, put it together. You know, putting these winning um, get days together. MLB people real good now. NBA, I'm heating up. So you know, it's all here. Sports shop, play some pick dogs. Check me out. V day, seven day, thirty day, or yearly, or matching one one of the other handicaps for the two point capital. You know, you know those who those of um y'all who've been. You know, viewing pick dogs for years, you know what it is on this side. You know, once I get hot, man, <laughs> hey, it, it doesn't stop. You know, what I, know. I have a long line of success on the site. So, you know, once I'm on the leaderboard, that's it. Yep, history and numbers don't lie, man. <laughs> you know, you can check them out over at Pick Dog Premium, guys. Get on board with Javon. You see the great results here. Last 30 days, also showing profit, all sports combined uh, for the year. Uh, so no better time to get on board with a long-term pass. Remember that one-month pass will take you all the way to May 11th. That's a lot of NBA playoff action there, a lot of baseball. And remember the promo code PICK at checkout. We'll save you that 15% off. Right, Javon, is always grabbing the show. If you need that success, we'll talk to you Monday on the drive through but we always can catch your video series with your short series and, of course, your a fixture now on the weekend shows. Yeah, you know, so the video series got one up today. Um, you know, that'll pop off, uh, you know, later tonight once the um, results come in. You know, so I'm doing that day. Last couple of days, um, work, didn't do them. You know, there, there was a... Um, you know, it wasn't as big, so, you know, I had to pick and choose. So, um, you know, they went to the premium side, those winners, so it is what it is. 
you know, so, you know, but they'll be going up. It'll be a baseball one tomorrow. Then, you know, last NBA, I might muster something up for the last day of the um, regular season. You know, so check out that. And then, per usual, I'll be on the morning show giving out free picks. That's right, and then guys. back on here on Monday. Back here on Monday, guys. So make sure you like, subscribe, set those notifications so when Javon drops these videos, you get them, or his live appearances, you get them right away. He's been on a tear. All right, Javon, have a great night. We'll catch up with you back here on the drive through Monday. Absolutely. All right. When? See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Javon Burt's here on the drive through We'll continue here on the show. Guys, if you ever miss a pick, we always recap at the end of the show. Stay tuned for that. Now it's time to update our chat pick of the day. Tonight's chat pick of the day is Sons at Kings. And right now, the, the Suns are up 6-4. to four. If you like the Suns, laying the 4.5 is A. The Kings plus 4.5 is B. Over 224 is C. Under 224 is D. Get those picks in. It is the chat. Pick they got another one in here for the Suns by April. So that puts us at 7 now to 4. Uh, they're on the Suns side. And we do have one over the total here. So keep those picks. The chat pick of day is on a tear here. 4-0 and oh this week. No losses. And it's been pretty much easy pickings here. The chat has been winning by margin on these games. So uh, 4-0 run right now by the chat. They got a little cold last week. J-Man came in on Monday, started calling out the chat. Get it right, and they got it right. Right at, right at the ship. 4-0 this week on the chat with pick of the day, so keep it coming. All right, let's continue here on the drive through Kevin Thomas up next. Catch him over at Pick Dodge. We'll bring Kevin in right now, ready with his um, <coughs> pick here from Major League Baseball. We'll get Kevin in here, ready to roll here. I think we'll be set here in just a second. Let's see here. Ready to go with Kevin. Kevin, what's happening? Oh, I'm doing great, Tony. Thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for showing up here for the show. All right, baseball tonight. Boy, these lines have been kind of close here. Brewers at Orioles. Brewers a dollar twenty-four in the road. Total eight and a half. Yeah, I think that that one fourteen. I, I, how can you not take the Orioles at plus one fourteen? <laughs> they just swept the Red Sox, and, and I tend to not like a team that often emotional win. And both of those last two games, coming back from behind to win the way they did, and then come home. But they're giving some guys rest. That's another reason this line's like this. We got Ali Rushman. He's going to take a seat. And then Ryan Mattcastle, uh, Mattcastle is going to take a seat. So we're going to get the Jackson Holiday experience. And then on the other side, we get the Jackson Ochura experience, where those two guys are one and two. Uh, but Jackson Holiday hasn't been doing too good. I know in the Red Sox, he did get a run scored. But he is a uh, uh, four for I think he's batted eight times and four of them are strikeouts. So not not too great, but it's still the Baltimore Orioles and this team is fast. They can hit the ball small. They can hit the ball far. But I do I, hey nothing against the Brewers. They're eight and three. They got Freddie Peralti on the mound, and he's uh he's one and zero. Oh. He had uh, eleven innings, five hits, four and run. And then on the other side, we got Tyler Wells going for the Orioles. Not so great. 11 innings, 12 hits, 12 or 6 earned runs, and only 10 strikeouts. Uh, the difference here for me, though, is who, who, who did Milwaukee play so far? Now, I didn't think I'd ever say this, but I think the NL Central might be the best NL uh, division. I always thought, you know, the NL East with my Phillies, the, uh, the Braves, and then, the, but the Mets are horrible. The Marlins are horrible. Uh, but if you look, they, uh, the Brewers have played the Reds. They won two or three. The Twins, they split one and one in two-game series. Uh, the Mets, they swept to start the series. Like uh, Reese Hoskins looked pretty good. Uh, I was happy for him there. And then they beat the Mariners 2-1. This is going to be a step up for the Brewers. As as much as, as good as Freddie Peralta, Peralta is, it's, it's going to be a step up in competition with this Orioles. They still got Santander. They still got Henderson leading off. They still got – they just find ways to win. As uh, – what's his name for Boston said, they are relentless. They do not quit. And I see them cashing this plus 114 tonight. Even though there's, there's every reason to take the Brewers, my gut's telling me you got to go with the Orioles here. Yeah, hard to pass the Orioles at a plus money price. Very difficult to do that, especially – facing a right-handed pitcher that's the thing key there is that and the way they've been able to produce runs at home in that spot it's it's it makes it it's it's again again going against baltimore right now they've been they've been the team uh, also too because that's what they do they hit the righties really well averaging almost seven runs a game tomorrow might be a different story when they're facing a lefty but today i think it's a game you got to wire in on because tomorrow's going to be their challenge 
uh, I think, in that and against facing that lefty. The one thing with Peralta, he's had some history giving up the home run ball, and that's not a ballpark that 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 uh, really helps pitchers at all, no. allowing the home run ball. <laughs> Well, and then and the Brewers, the Brewers' last game against the Reds got postponed, so people look. Oh, they got a they got that day to travel, so they're rested for this game. The Orioles are actually like the away team coming in, but if that wind's blowing a little bit out, I think these Orioles hitters are going to have a field day, uh, and they don't even need the home runs. These guys, they just run the bases so well. I mean, from top to bottom, they're just fast. I, I never seen anything like it. Now, I know James McCann's catching, so it might not be too much speed right there. All right, there we go. Kevin here on the Orioles. Hard to pass that plus 114, plus 105. Do your line shopping. Get the best numbers tonight. This one here, 7 o'clock Eastern time. All right, Kevin, let's take a look over at Pick Dodge Supreme for tonight's action. Of course, we know we got NBA on the board tonight. A full card from NBA. Concluded a really good college hoop season. Looking now into baseball as well as NBA. Hockey on the board as well. A lot of volume on a Friday. What do you have going over at Pick Dodge Premium? I got one of each. I got my uh, top of the ticket, which is a a total of the month in the NBA. Uh, I have a, a MLB winner and a hockey winner. Uh, I try not to go too too extravagant during the week. On the weekend, maybe a little more. Uh, but you always, like I say, you got to take care, take take advantage of the three seven day, thirty day passes, and partner me up with any of these cappers because every time I look, it's always a battle on these leaderboards because everybody's plus profits, and that's what it's all about winning cash and tickets even my good buddy brian bittler who decided to take day off partner me up with him out there uh or wherever he's in virginia or whatever i guess i don't know vacationing yeah vacation time he's back next week so he's back on the drive through next friday that's a little bit of a vacation get on board here with kevin thomas has been on a tear here last 30 days 1,347 years of profit, showing great profit for 2024. Last seven days has been an absolute tear. No better time now to get on board with Kevin. Long-term pass will serve you well. Remember that one-month pass? Get you a lot of coverage in the NBA playoffs, NHL playoffs. <clears throat> Some of you guys like that three-day pass on the weekend. There's NBA tonight and and and, and uh, Sunday. All the baseball, all the hockey. <clears throat> Use that promo code. Pick and check out. Save that 15% off, right? Kevin, it's always a great having your show. Continue that great success. We'll catch up with you on the drive through next week. But let everybody know we can catch your video series as well here on the show. And you make your occasional appearances there on the weekend show as well. Every day you get a, go to the Pick Dogs YouTube channel. I mean, no one gives out more free picks. And make sure you subscribe. I mean, it's free. You get notified. And, I mean, I go over there just to, you know, follow my, see the, see the views and stuff. And there's like 100 videos I got to get through and picks. Uh, so I watch all of them though I get to mine. And that's about a two-hour day right there watching all the videos, all the free stuff going on. So you, you take advantage of that. Uh, that's all, you know. And then the weekend shows, uh, I got two more kids, one in college. Once this next weekend, we, me and her mom get to walk her out for her senior because she plays Division Two softball. Uh, my weekends will be free. I've been going to Connecticut watching every game she plays on weekends. So I, I can't miss it. She's pre-med student heading to medical school so her life's gonna go for a while <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right all right kev have enjoyed the weekend uh, with family and we'll catch up with you again here next week thank you tony you too as well kevin thomas here on the drive we will continue here guys if you ever miss a pick we always recap and then the show stay tuned for that back to the chat pick of the day right now it's uh sons and kings you guys right now the the Suns eight, the Kings five, one to the over. If you like the Suns, laying the four and a half, it's A. Kings plus four and a half is B. You see the over, you see the under, C for the over, D for the under. Right now, it is, uh, well, the uh, Suns laying the four and a half is up. And we got another Suns just come in right now. The chat pick of the day has been hot. The chat room has been hot four straight in a row here for the chat, Monday through Thursday. Let's try to make a, a clean sweep of the week. Here with a chat pick of the day, get your picks in. We just got one here for the Kings, and we'll update this here uh, right after my segment. All right, let's continue here on the drive-through. We'll get to my pick, we'll recap, and then we'll 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 call it a weekend here, a week here on the drive-through. <clears throat> Guys, remember if you already put your chat pick of the day in there, you can also put in your show pick, and we'll we'll talk. We'll announce the show pick at the end of, at the end of the of the close of the show. So get your show pick if you've not or if you've already voted for the chat pick of the day. All right, let's get to my pick, and we'll get right to it here. It won't be a very long explanation. It's pretty simple here uh, on this one. It's not always simple. I just 
we'll let you know it's not this game. We've got to move the chains here. We're going to go look at the Clippers and the Jazz tonight. We know the Clippers situation. They win one game and they got the home court here in their series against the against the Dallas Mavericks. They're facing a team that really in the Utah Jazz, it is just, if you look over the past uh, five games, they sit near the bottom in, in defensive efficiency. <clears throat> they are showing absolutely no resistance on defense. And, you know, that wakes up players. And one thing I've noticed here in the um, – in, in this part in this NBA here, when we get toward the end of the of this year, we get some of these clinching teams. Is that yeah, the defense gets a little laxed, but the offense is still in rhythm. Because you know why? These guys love their stats. They love their stat sheet. You know, and I've noticed that even in my years of covering NBA, when I was a you know when I was in there recording the, the interviews and streaming them to the stations for play airplay, uh, these guys they sit down in the in the locker room. Stare at the stat sheet. They've been doing that for years. Coaches do that as well. You probably even see that when they get interviewed by the by the you know by the interview folks, right? They're always looking at their at their stats before they do the interview. And when you face a team like the Jazz that shows no resistance defensively, man, you just really get up. Hey, I'm gonna we're gonna get our offense tonight. This we're gonna get our offense tonight. I think this is the mindset of the Clippers. We should put up 130, 140 on this Jazz team. I don't, we don't care how much we, we, we give up, but we're just going to come in here and outscore these guys. We have the offensive numbers. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of work needed on defense because we can our talent alone offensively can outscore this team. So I think you can get a really strong offensive effort here by the Clippers against a Jazz defense that is absolutely showing no resistance whatsoever. Uh, it's like if you're if you if you're maximum if you lift weights and you're and you're bench 240 well it's like benching 120 <laughs> that's how it feels like it's just no no resistance whatsoever so we'll take the over here with the Jazz Clippers all right guys check out Pick Dodge Premium tonight I've got three pack here on the board <clears throat> with two baseball one NBA also a best bet from the NBA as well so get on board with me right now my long term pass I have a three seven or thirty all sports pass get all my premium plays. For that time, for just like when you go to my handicap page, make that purchase. Remember the promo code PICK at checkout will save you that 15% off. And of course, multi cap promotion, making it even a greater value there. All right, let's wrap up this chat pick of the day and then we'll get to the recap and then we'll go over your show picks. So we're going to go into chat pick of the day. And uh, let me just update the final votes coming in here. We did get another over and we got another one in here for the. Suns, and we got one here for the nope, that's it. We got another Suns. All right, we're going to close it out <clears throat> right right now. The chat pick of the day is the Phoenix Suns 10 to the six here for the Kings, two on the over. But we got again, chat pick of the day is the Phoenix Suns. The chat room is looking for a perfect five and oh on the week. A big bounce back here from the from the uh, folks there. Uh, is is the uh, chat uh, the chat pick four and oh this week? Uh, let's make it five and oh. The chat pick of the day, the Suns laying the four and a half. All right, let's get to the recap, and then we'll get to your show pick, guys. Put your show pick in the chat, and we'll read it off at the end. Chris Lakers, Grizzlies over 225. Now, James Clark, I didn't see him in here. If you're there, let's see. I don't think he signed it, right? He ghosted us today. James Clark, I don't see him. He was on the lineup, and I forgot all about him, but he never signed it. All right, here we go. Chris Lakers, Grizzlies over 225 and a half. Jay on the Warriors laying the four. Javon Braves Marlins over eight and a half. Kevin on the Orioles plus one hundred five. I'll be on the Jazz Clippers over two twenty four. Probably two twenty five. I should have I should have cleaned that up a little bit. Although the two twenty four and a half, great. Well, actually, no, there are two twenty fours in the marketplace. Grade me at two twenty four. All right, the one I like the most. Let's see here. Which one do I like the most? That's a good question here. Uh, I'm not gonna. I don't think you're gonna get a whole lot of resistance here from the Grizzlyers. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna get a whole. I don't think so. That's another situation where the, I don't. The defense has kind of gone south there. The Lakers front line should be able to put points. Let's go. We saw them what they did against Toronto and Washington on the last road trip. They just they just outscored their opponent. Let's go there over 225 and a half in that one. All right. Let's get to the uh, their show picks, guys. Your show picks in the chat. Put them in right now and we'll read them off. Uh, in a little bit, let me just let me just go ahead and do the uh, sign off. That'll do for this edition here of the drive through. Be sure to tune in again Monday. We'll be live again at 6 p.m. Eastern time. We'll do it all over again. We'll bring our cappers from Pick Dogs and Sports Chat. They'll go up their place for you in real time. Remember to always get started with that morning show on the weekend. It's 10 a.m. Eastern time. Chris uh, and Jay, actually Chris Sunday, Jay on Saturday. It looks like here, but all the cappers here, a lot of many of the cappers will be on the shows giving out picks. Remember to always get started with that morning show. We are live here with the morning show. As we said, also Jay's Jam Session NBA. Chris with his video series as he goes around the league uh, from the NHL. 
Mitch with his seven picks in five minutes, his betting tools show. We also have uh, Ron Zawacki as he does his A to Z NHL coverage, a pick from every game on the NHL board. And, of course, we just talked to uh, uh, Kevin Thomas with his video series as well. You get his and Javon's um, with his shorts videos up there. Uh, of course, we got Ron O'Malley. Uh, MLB Rundown is up there for you. Of course, Mills with the UFC 300 Rundown. Check that out or just check the replay of the show yesterday. He gave a complete rundown of the, of the ESPN and pay-per-view fights from that UFC fight. Watch the replay of the of the drive through yesterday. Also, prop shop here from Mills and a lot, lot more video coverage. All right, let's get, your, let's get your, your pick of the day here, guys. Your show pick. We got Ramon here like in the Braves. Marlins over with Javon. Bo Dunn, Astros minus 125 is his best bet. Suns for Kevin McClinton in there. Uh, what else we have here? Let's see any more of your best bets. Get those best, your show picks in here. Nicholas Handy, Orioles, and the City Connect jerseys. All right, that's, let's see here. Lando 86, Edmonton first period team total over one and a half. That's a plus 165. Rise of anything like the Suns here in the, in the, in the game and over 224. He goes handy over eight and a half with the bro with the Brewers O's. April Montgomery likes the, my show picker. She likes the over here, two twenty four in the Clippers and the Jazz. Uh, Chris White Thunder likes the Knicks laying the eleven and a half there as well. Let's see if there's any more uh, show picks here, guys. Your show picks of the day. Let me see if there's any more coming in. Let me scroll up because I know some of you guys put them in early. So let me see if we missed any here that were put in earlier. I think we've got them all in right now. Let me do one more. I see Blake coming in with the Diamondbacks money line. Diamondbacks money line from Blake. And let's see if we have any more last call here, guys. Get them in before we shut it down. All right, we got them all in. That's going to do it for our drive-thru. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Back again on Monday. Let's bring in our crew for tonight. Wake up.